Hey everyone, History Mystery Man here coming to you today from world famous Eldora Speedway. I am so excited and you should be too. I haven't been here for more than 20 years and what a show. It's all here. This is an open wheel paradise at the most famous dirt track on planet Earth. I couldn't be more excited. Quick shout out, Halloween 200 coming. Best pavement street stock race in the country, Salem Speedway, October 23rd, 24th. But right now, baby, it's all Eldora Speedway. Rest assured, history mystery man is here on duty and at your service. Let's go see what's inside. Enter here, concessions behind the main grandstand. I spent a lot of time in this little aisleway as a kid. This is so cool to be back. Mmm, smells good too. Oh, it's all ready and laid out for us. How convenient is that? Cheeseburger in paradise. That's me. That's such a cool shot with everything peeled back and off, uncovered. I love that. Well, then I gotta see you, my buddy. You don't scare me with that barking. What a beauty you are, look at you. He's so cute. That's Maxim. Maxim? Yeah. Named after the chassis? Named after the chassis. Oh, how cool. I'm not sure I'm gonna fall in love down here, but been through this tunnel about 15 times and I have not fallen in love yet. But I'm holding out. I haven't had a mellow yellow in years. <laughs> I didn't even recognize the label. It looks almost toxic or something. What is that? I don't know. You're not serving me rat poisoning, are you? Okay. No. I'm... Never. Man, I love these cars. No, I wanted you in the movie. You didn't have to back away. You can, you're the stars. This, here are the stars of our show. Yeah, anyway, how cool is this? Cody Swanson in the house, Four Crown Nationals, Eldora Speedway. Cody, how are you, sir? We're hanging in there, how are you doing? I'm fine, just fine. Good. So you're a five-time USAC Silver Crown champion? Yeah, that's correct. That's amazing. Thank you. That's incredible. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've been fortunate to be surrounded by great people and driven for some great race teams over the years and um, yeah, yeah. have another uh, you know, good strong finish to this one. Yeah, uh, it just, I don't know, five titles in that series seems incredible to me. Does it seem incredible to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it does. You know, it, it's I've been, like I said, it was something I, I really wanted to try to win the first one and, and a lot of hard work and effort went into it. and. And fortunate to have been paired with some some great teams in the time since. You know, first one I was with Bob Hampshire, Clark Lamb, and the De Palma family. Um, and, and the first of four was with them, and um, they they retired at, at the top of the sport and um, got a chance to to run for, for Gene Nolan and his team and, and won a title for them in 2019. And um, you know, this this year I wasn't going to run for the full season. Um, was just going to piece together some races. Went to Doran Racing, just going to really run on the pavement and kind of fill in the rest of my schedule with some different things. And just then you went and won on the mile dirt, didn't miles. you? Yeah, and um, that was so cool. came, came here first, right? So we, we had the SRX race and was fortunate to be included in that and that kind of got oh. me back into dirt. Didn't and you I, finish second in that I, race? I, I did, yeah. That was incredible. Thank you. Was, I was cheering my guts out for you, well, mister. Thank you. I sure, sure <laughs> that was so one cool. Better, but it was, it was cool to be part of. And, you and let a lot of it. That close. Yeah, let a lot. <sighs> had a late caution and um, Tony Stewart just, uh, I picked the wrong lane. And Tony who? Yeah, right. And then oh, come he, on. he rolled around the top and uh, showed me how to how to get it done here. So, oh, that was um, but, so cool. But yeah, but that night I drove this 21 car. Uh, it's the Mark Swanson Encore team, and, and a lot of friends uh, are involved with it. And um, we had a pretty good run. We started 15th and come all the way up to third. And um, that kind of put me in a spot to continue running some dirt races as the rest of my season schedule shuffled. Um, they had Kenny Schrader slated to run the miles. And so I ended up picking up a ride driving for Chris Dyson in the number nine car um, there at uh, Sealands Grove, uh, won, the, won the race there at Springfield and um, at the coin last. So uh, they, they had Tyler Courtney coming back for the four crown. Uh, they had that pre-existing and, and I come back to run the 21 car um, here to, to finish the last dirt race of the season before we uh, wrap up uh, on Toledo or at Toledo on the pavement. Man, you are just all over the board here. It's been what, a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. what's uh, are there any new things shaking for you? Any announcements to make? What um, looking ahead to twenty twenty two? Yeah, any? I mean, working on some things. Um, working on something that, that hopefully will take place uh, before the end of the year. Uh, w would you rather win the Indianapolis five hundred or the Daytona five hundred? What is there? Uh, I mean, if, if you're just gonna pick one, you think the Indianapolis five hundred? It's the biggest race in the world. Uh, that's that's how I how I see it, right? And and and. 
I mean, I'm big into to history and all that and the long standing tradition that it has and, and even just back that, that at one point in life, right, guys came through and ran sprint cars in midgets and, and the Silver Crown Series was part of that national championship that included the Indianapolis 500. Yeah, I mean, back then, to get to the Indy 500, you had to come through the USAC sprint cars first. This was it, yeah. And, and the to, champ dirt cars. Yeah, and to prove it on, uh, on both dirt and pavement and run the high banks. And um, and so it's you know it's really neat to feel connected to that history some. And so, so if I'm going to pick one, that would be um, you know, a great opportunity. But that you might be running the ARCA race at Salem? Uh, that that might that... be what I was trying to iron out the final <laughs> details to tell you about. Okay, so, so what team is that, by the way? Uh, GMS racing. Oh wow! Yeah, so Whoa, so dude. the story on it is that um, Chad Bryant has been someone I've stayed in touch with. Um, Champion crew chief, yeah. sixteen with uh, Chase Briscoe. With Chase Briscoe, that's and that's how I met him. It was through Chase, being an open wheel guy, and uh, met Chad in the following year, 2017. We stayed in contact, and as Cunningham Motorsports kind of shuttered, and and he developed his his own race team. I got the chance to make an arc start for him last year at Iowa, and we, we stayed in good touch. He let me run his late model, late model stock a little bit there at Hickory. Um, and so I had that connection. He's now working at GMS Wrestling. Got it. Um, and, and been heading up their ARCA program. And to kind of make it come full circle, um, that night that I ran for SRX here at Eldora, uh, my celebrity crew chief was Mike Bean, uh, a former Cup winning crew chief. And um, With Elliot, wasn't he? Yeah. Bill uh, Elliot? Bill Elliot and, uh, and Ricky Craven. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And happens to be the president at GMS. So uh, Chad and Mike, um, you know, and I have been kind of working together in, in the time since the SRX race to try to figure out something. There's a place I could fit, and um, and hopefully, um, hopefully we have a good run at Salem. Well, I just uh, I'll leave you with this: that I wish you all the best. Um, I don't know any driver in America that has earned his way to the top more than you have, and I hope somehow, some way, you eventually get there. Well, thank you. I appreciate that very much. And, um, you know, obviously I'd love to continue making it um, any further or higher that I can, but at the same time, I'm so grateful to have had the opportunities that I have had. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, I've been so fortunate to, to make it this far and, and met a lot of great people and, and, and had a lot of fun along the way. What kind of music do you like? I'm, I'm probably like 90s country most of the 90s time. country? Yeah, I'd say so. That gets more back to the traditional country yeah, I, I think than so. this pop country yeah, stuff we hear now. I don't recognize I don't like a lot it. of this. But, nah. uh, I like yeah, the traditional I, I stuff. Yep. Favorite movie? I don't know. Got one? I don't know. Not off the top of my head. I've never seen that movie. Who was yeah, in that one? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's I can't okay. remember either. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, who'd you vote for? Cool. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, right? no. uh, I'm out of yeah. here. All right. <laughs> See ya. See Look at this. There's something about a black open wheel race car with gold leaf lettering. Isn't that beautiful? Big old crazy eight. Sweet. Tim, how you doing? All right, how's it going? Okay. I just know I'm going to meet the love of my life down here. And when I turn this corner, she, a redhead, beautiful, green eye. Oh. <laughs> Where'd she go? Man, I love that. How you doing, buddy? Good. How's, how's Curly? Sadly to say, Curly passed away January 24th. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm, he's here when he's here in our memory. Celebrating his life. I can he's tell. <laughs> you guys know how to celebrate, don't you? Yeah. Well, we're, I, we're you how do you guys like Eldora Speedway? Love it. Love it. Love yeah. It. Is there anything better dirt track wise? I don't, I don't think so. We'll, we'll let you know when we find it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, I love that. Unofficial driving school. That's funny. <laughs> You're not making more, are you? Oh, yeah. Be right one for the road? Trying to quit. Can I have yours? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to quit. You're right. That's the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to quit too. That's been full ever since I sat down here. Dude, you played hockey for Sylvania Northfield? Yes, sir. My daughter's graduated from Sylvania Northfield. Yeah. Well, we're from the same place then. Yeah. How about that? Sylvania? Small. Yeah, I live there now. Small world. I love Sylvania. Yeah. It's a great little town. Awesome. I love awesome. it. Rico, how are you, sir? I'm doing all right. We're here at the best track in the world, Eldora Speedway. Is that your honest opinion? Yeah, I think it's definitely... Your favorite anyway? Um, yeah, it's up there in my top three tracks. Uh, I enjoy coming to, so I enjoy racing. Uh, it, 
all these tracks across the country and uh, you know just there's a couple of them that set themselves uh, on top of the list for me so yeah Eldora being one of them uh, it's just a special place uh, a lot of good memories here for me and some some bad uh, that I try not to think about so um, but I just uh, I cherish every moment I get to come here I'll bet I think uh, that's a consensus across the board for a lot of the guys and gals here um, Chili Bowl, you've won that once, twice? Uh, two times. Two times, okay. Has that been your crowning achievement in motorsports, would you say, yeah. if you had to pick something? Definitely, uh, you know, just getting Toyota, um, you know, Speedway Engines, their first Chili Bowl win, and, um, you know, just, you know, and under an uh, organization like Keith Coons Motorsports, it's had so much success in midget racing. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I, I enjoy getting every opportunity to race for Keith, and, be Willoughby, uh, you know, so uh, the Chili Bowl is one of my favorite races to go to in the, in the year and, um, you know, to start the year off, what better, what a way to do it, uh, you know, just being the first race of the year, the Chili Bowl. Sure. What's ahead for you? Anything new on the horizon for Racing you? Racing sprint cars. That's, yeah. Uh, my favorite thing to do, uh, you know, I, I put in a lot of effort into my race team to, to consistently stay competitive. Um, you know, and search for race wins. It's been difficult the last few years uh, for me to consistently win races. I see a lot of ups and downs, but um, you know, it's just, it's been tough. Um, so I'm, I just keep driving at it. It's it's all I think about, it's all I want to do. Um, you know, and there's so many races that I, I need to win before I'm, you know, done racing. Um, you know, I just, I enjoy every second of it. I believe it. Any interest for you outside of this industry? What are you into outside? Racing's it, I guess. Uh, yeah, racing, uh, you know, I, I enjoy, um, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be from the Napa Valley in California, and I enjoy getting to spend time in the wine industry and around my family's business. Uh, Is that what they, ha does your family have a wine business? Yeah, so my dad has a wine label, uh, and then he farms a few ranches for some clients. So, uh, you know, he's, we're lucky enough to be in a really beautiful part of California and uh, you know that's what I call home. Is it? Have you guys struggled with the heat this year? The wildfires? Are you in the uh, midst of that? Luckily, been okay right now. Yeah. Uh, but last year, um, the wildfires were pretty scary around our area. And, I believe um, it affected a lot of people's crops. Sure, sure. Now, what kind of modifications do you have to make in the sprint car to meet your feet? Um, so they I just, for with my shortness and stature, I have everything uh, six inches up and six inches forward, just for me. It, be able to reach, uh, you know, with my arms and legs not being as long as the average person. Um, you know, so if, they, if, you, if anyone ever sees my, the cockpit of my car, it looks like there's some shoe boxes in there just to, for me to reach the pedals. And uh, But everything else is, is standard, uh, you know, parts in, in the cockpit area that you could, uh, you know, just get your average well, car connection. Is there one per, in, uh, person in particular that makes all those modifications for you that actually does it? Um, rigs it up we we have the the parts made from dinner a few different manufacturers but um you know from day one when i first started racing sprint car brent katie and, and everybody at katie performance were the first to design the actual cockpit of my car and get work on getting me comfortable um you know in the sprint car are you comfortable yeah oh yeah yeah good good do you get nervous when you race i uh, know i get anxious um, anxious yeah and i just uh I get intense at times, and you know, I just, I try to, uh, I'm, I'm really hard on myself when I make mistakes on the tracks and, and just try to break down and understand, you know, what, uh, you know, different mindsets are like to coming into races and knowing, you know, when you're good and when your car isn't as quite as good, um, you know, and how to uh, carry a car as a, as a driver. And, um, you know, it's, it's really important. To, uh, to understand those things and understand, uh, you know, the difference in good cars and bad cars and, and uh, good decisions and bad decisions while you're driving. Do you ever chat with the boss here, Tony Stewart? I mean uh, yeah, I do frequently. Uh, you know, I, I have a, a close relationship with Tony and, um, you know, what he's done for the industry and the spring car industry, just the race community. And um, he's one of the most generous people I've ever met in my life. It's interesting. Thanks for your time, Rico. I appreciate you. Yeah, thanks. Yes, sir. Make it right. Make it good. <laughs> what is it? Uh, grass bowling? Yeah, something like that kind of. Italian. Watchable. Italian?
Well, we're not Italian. I was going to say, this is Eldora Speedway. You're, yeah. you're talking Italian traditions here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By a German and a bunch of damn <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys like Eldora? Well, we love it. It's the best, isn't it? First time? Yeah. you got to be kidding me. And you too? You might be the first two humans on Earth that I talked to here at Eldora Speedway that said, first time here. Yeah, I, I, That's amazing. And the pit passes and seeing the bank turns, it just, it's everything that the hike lived up to. So. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's very cool. Enjoy yourourselves. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You got yourself a pretty lady there. You're a, yes, you're a lucky man, you are. Yes, sir. Where are you from? Kentucky, Moorhead. Yeah? What yeah. brings you to Eldora? I love the races. Ain't nothing like that dirty dirt. No, I know, especially here. Yeah, this is famous like dirt, mister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ain't nothing like it. Thank 100 is, ain't nothing no better. Thank you so much. So, Sammy Swindell, I didn't know I'd be seeing you here today, tonight. Uh, tell me about your program, the car you're with. I'm driving for Pete Grove in uh, the blue number 70 he has. We ran last night with the World Outlaws. Do you have any luck? Uh, well, I finished 10th. So oh, that's impressive. It wasn't bad. We moved forward, so uh, qualified 8th. So, um, you know, give us a little time on the track. So hopefully tonight we can be a little bit better. Do you still feel as sharp in the saddle as you did, say, 30 years ago? Well, I mean, because I don't run as much, you're, you're, you're not on up up on some of the, you know, the setups and stuff and, and come in and running with someone and I'm kind of hauling most of the shots. So it's like I'm a little bit behind on, you know, some of the setups and some of the stuff just by not running a lot. How much longer are you going to keep doing it? How much longer can you do it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to keep doing it? I mean, the fire's uh, yeah, still there? Yeah, right now. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to do it a lot, but I just... Do you still chat with Steve Kinzer? Do you guys ever talk? Uh, well, you know, when he comes to the racetracks, but he doesn't come very much anymore. Yeah. Did you, when you, back in your heyday, did you guys get along okay or being such competitors on track? I mean, you guys were the show for a while. Yeah, well, I mean, we did a lot of things together. Did you? Yeah, and, you know, but it's still, you know, sometimes you get together and something happens and, you know, somebody's not happy, but. Go on to the next one and race again. Your thoughts on him is overall, I mean, his career was amazing, you know, the 20 World of Outlaw Championships. It's, does it seem incredible to you that he yeah, did all that? Yeah, well, they, they were out there, you know, since it started, ran all the races, you know, until they retired. So, you know, I, I didn't get that opportunity, you know, for all the years I raced, and I, I would just run some of the schedule or whatever. A car owner could do so. Um, yeah, but I mean, yeah, he was probably in the best cars. And, yeah, that he was. And he was, he definitely did a good job. Finally, what do you like to do outside of this industry? I mean, what are you into uh, when you're at home uh, and doing your own thing? Well, I'll do some fishing, do some yeah. golfing, and I've got a motorcycle I ride stuff it just whatever i mean i still stay pretty busy yeah hey thanks for your time i appreciate you so i gotta tell you it really stood out to me i, I talked to the shortest driver here now i'm gonna talk okay. to the tallest how tall are you i'm six six wow um, when i first started racing go-karts we had to cut the front end of it off and extend it so it's been uh a little bit of a challenge, added challenge to this whole racing thing ever since the beginning. Well, I've never, I've driven a sprint car once, but climbing in, I'm a short little guy, yeah. and I couldn't believe how cramped I was in the thing. How yeah. do you fit in one? I don't get it. So, this car, our sprint cars, we had basically custom made um, at the RC chassis. So, the where the, basically where the seat mounts, all that's we back as far as we could get it. The steering mounts are as far forward as we could get it. And the cage is a little bit taller just to give me some more headroom. And um, wow, really. You, you know, have like, that halo bar thing? I do, yes. Okay. Um, and really, like, an inch and a half, moving the seat back an inch and a half and the steering rack as far forward as you can get it makes a big enough difference for me. Like, a standard car, there's no way I could get it. But yeah. That thing, it's, it's like a Cadillac. This is my first USAC sprint car race. Really? Uh, yeah. Usually just run locally around Indiana. Um, Where at? Bloomington? I go to Lawrenceburg quite a bit. Lawrenceburg, Lawrenceburg okay. Lawrenceburg, um, Puttonville. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Bounce around a little bit, but typically Lawrenceburg. Speaking um, of bouncing around. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, well, the first USAC sprint car yeah, race. Well, yeah. how cool. So I've ran midgets with USAC before, but this is the first time with a sprint car, so it should be a good time. And yeah. you had to pick Eldora, man. Yeah. Are, yeah. are you nervous, or where uh, are you at? Not really. I was a little bit leading up to it, um, but I, like I said, I run Lawrenceburg a lot, and it's probably one of the closest things you can get to in Eldora. I'd say this place Just a lot smaller. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a fat Lawrenceburg. Eldora. I gotcha. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too worried, I think. And I don't, I don't really set expectations for myself for tonight, or Mainly here to have a good time. So yeah. There's not a whole lot left going on um, racing wise for this year, so we figured, well, everybody's going to be here and the car is basically ready, so we might as well go. So, got all the buddies together and here we are. You know, and you are officially, as far as I can tell, our tallest sprint car driver. I think so. Tallest here today, I'll guarantee yeah. it. <laughs> Thanks for your time, I appreciate yeah, thank you. you. Anytime. What do you do back home? So, actually, I work at DRC Chassis and build sprint cars. Really? So, how cool. Yeah, all day working on race cars, come home. Work on the race car. Well, good luck and be safe. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. How are you doing, Hewitt? Good. How are you doing? Good, good. Good to see you. What happens later. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. Okay. You feeling good. okay? You feeling yeah, good? Brand new. You look good. You look great. Yep, we're hanging in there. I can see that. We're not racing. We're doing all right anyway. That's okay. Uh, Tyler Courtney, uh, the only guy that has a chance to break your mark tonight. He can't break it. He can, well, he can tie it, I there guess. There you go. There, okay. I'll give you that. Uh, uh, <laughs> set the record straight, please. Do uh, you think he can do it, or what are your thoughts? I'd say he's capable. You know, I kind of give him a little bit of... If he would went off for tonight, it would be a little more because the wing sprinter was probably a little tougher than the modified, but it's still, like I said, it, we'll see what happens. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. It's so good to see you, Jack Hewitt. It wouldn't be Eldora without Jack Hewitt. Thank you. Is that Rico's dog? Yeah. Oh, what's his name? Gus. Gus? Is that a, a doodle? What a beautiful dog.